The real estate market here in New York is somewhat befuddling. I mean, we're paying nearly a million and a half dollars for a one bedroom apartment. Now, the question is why? The obvious answer, of course, is that New York is the best city in the world in which to live. But another reason is that the rest of the world has caught on to what us New Yorkers already know. And with the euro beating our little dollar way the heck down and newly constructed condominium developments popping way the heck up, we're seeing more real estate sales to foreigners than ever before, making people like Luigi Rosa Bianca an invaluable resource. A typical international purchaser is ignorant as to our legal nuances and mores. We try to assist them with what they need, both legally and also on a day-to-day -day basis on what they would need to do and paying common charges and trying to get a loan, certain things that they're not accustomed to. Rosa Bianca, the founder and principal attorney at Rosa Bianca and Associates, has found a niche in this enclave of the real estate market. His firm deals with the legalities of property investment in the U.S. versus that in Europe and has staff here in New York fluent in English, Italian, and Portuguese. We do have a very uh, specific traditions and formalities in New York City and we just try to assist those foreigners um, with our New York standards. His firm helped Igor Palachari, an international jet setter who splits his time between Moscow and New York, deal with the transaction on this 350 square foot studio apartment, which he actually closed on today at the Coco Exchange on Wall Street for $450,000. Uh, we processed the purchase of this particular apartment uh, just entirely through the web. Basically, I came here today just to finalize the purchase and uh, to finalize, how do you call it, the closure. The New York Times reports that foreign buyers have snapped up nearly 1,000 of these new condo units in the last 18 months, buying nearly a third of these new developments during that time. So being that I like a man with an accent. No accent for you. You can find that story on our archive section that aired back on October 8th. It looks like we're all in business here in New York. I'm Rachel Natalie Klein. See you next time on Into the Box.